Welcome to this Bitrix24 desktop application demonstration. My name is Andy and I am the head of customer success here at Intraface. We are Bitrix24 Gold Partners providing implementation, customization, training and support. In this demonstration, we'll take a look at the Bitrix24 desktop application uh, and look at what the desktop application is and where to download it, the key features of the desktop application, and we'll summarize the key benefits. So the desktop application is available for Windows, Apple, and Linux and you can download it from the Bitrix24 website at bitrix24.com slash applications.php. So what is the desktop application? Well, it consists of two applications. Uh, the Bitrix interface is in one application where you can access all elements of the Bitrix24 CRM. So things such as the CRM, task management, work groups uh, and all of the key modules and then there is another application for communication so that allows you to have uh, the internal messenger you can make video and voice calls and you can have conferences up to 48 people with hd uh, video so just to take a look at where to download the application from so you can click on uh, the bitrix24.com website, click on the apps menu link at the top. Then if you scroll down, you can see that you can download the application for your Mac, for your Windows machine, or for Linux. So we'll take a look at some of the key features of the desktop application. So as I mentioned, the desktop application is used primarily as a communications tool. So you can have uh, the Bitrix24 Messenger open, so you can chat internally with your colleagues. You can also have video and voice call with your colleagues too, directly from the application. So you don't need to have Bitrix open in the web browser to be able to do this. And you can access the messages directly from your desktop. What you can also do, and another key feature of the desktop application, is the document drive synchronization. So you can sync all of the documents from your Bitrix24 system, from your My Drive, to your local machine, which allows you to edit files directly from uh, the machine that you're on. And once you save those files, they directly sync back up via the desktop application into Bitrix itself. And vice versa, you can edit the files inside Bitrix and that will sync to your local machine as well. And I'll show you how we can do that. Furthermore, the desktop application allows you to get notified of anything that's happening inside Bitrix without having to actually log into Bitrix via the browser. So you can see your notifications directly from the desktop application inside the notification center. The Bitrix24 uh, desktop application contains all of the key features of the web browser version. Uh, so it's not limited uh, in any sense. So you can just access any area of the Bitrix24 system directly from the desktop application itself. And finally, what you can also do is you can log into multiple versions of Bitrix, so multiple systems. Now that might be key if you have maybe one or two different systems that you need to access. So whereas if you're trying to log into maybe two different Bitrix24 cloud accounts, maybe using different users, then you can do that using the desktop application as well. So let's just jump into the application itself. As I said, what we have is we have two applications. So if I just show you here, what you can see first of all is the desktop application. So I'm logged into our demonstration system here and you can see that it's no different from the web browser version. However, obviously because we're accessing it via the application itself, we don't need 
the web browser open. The second application that comes with uh, the download is the internal messenger. So we have the ability to chat amongst our colleagues. So I can send Mark here a message and Mark will then receive that message directly, whether he's in the uh, web browser version or if he has just the messenger tool open on his desktop as well. And as I say, what we can also do is we can have video and voice calls. So the desktop application allows you to have uh, conferencing up to 48 individuals. So we can have a video and voice call up to 48 people. We can by simply by clicking on here, inviting the multiple people from your organization into uh, the chat, and then we can launch that video uh, call directly from the desktop application itself. So it is a really useful um, application on your desktop to communicate internally. So if you've got things like Teams or you've got Skype, then it performs very, very similar to that is in terms of you can have one to one or one to many conversations. The other area of uh, the desktop application, what it provides you, as I mentioned, is the ability to sync your documents to your local machine. So if I go into our uh, demonstration system here and click on the drive, what you'll see here is all of the files that I have access to in my drive. So you can see here, we have a whole range of different files and folders. I can maybe stack them up to show you in here. And this area inside Bittrex is what syncs to your local machine. Uh, and that's really important because what I can do now is if I click on the little desktop icon at the top, it brings up this little uh, pop-up in here. And the first thing that I would usually recommend for you to do is just click on the Bittrex 24 drive settings. You can specify the folder location where you want these uh, documents to sync to. And importantly, whether you wanted to download the actual copy of the document itself, then you would leave this uh, deselected. But if you enable Elastic Drive, what it essentially does, it creates a hot link inside your uh, location here. And it doesn't actually download a physical copy of that file to your local machine. Therefore, you're not downloading masses of files taking up storage on your uh, local machine. Only when you double click on the file that you have synced to your machine, will it then download and therefore saving uh, and making the space more efficient uh, on your uh, PC or your Mac. So to obviously access the files themselves, what we can do is we can pull up our location on here and therefore you can see all of the files that we have synced to your local machine. Now, if I wanted to maybe open up a, a file itself so I could open up my, maybe a Word document. And so let's just open up Word here. And if I pull up Word, so this is Word on my uh, Mac here. This is a new document. And then what I could do is save as, and then in here, I could save it new. document and you can see I'm saving it to the location on my local machine and it might be that I want to bring in put it save it in Bittrex 24 documents click on save that then saves it and what the desktop application will therefore do is it will then sync that file to here and you can see the new document has saved directly in here. And it's the same as I mentioned, if you were to then edit this document, it would then open up the uh, file on your local machine, save it, and it would sync back into Bittrex. So it's a fantastic way of especially bulk uploading your files to Bittrex. Um, and again, it just allows you that flexibility to be able to save and remove uh, the files locally. 
The other tools that you've got as well, as I mentioned, is that you have the ability to access many different Bittrex systems. So pretty much like the web browser, yeah, you can obviously log into multiple uh, tabs. But what some people find is on the cloud, it might be that you have different user accounts accessing different Bittrex systems. Here, we can click on the little tab icon up at the top, uh, and we can therefore log into a different cloud or on-premise system simply by clicking on the plus icon and logging in. So those are some of your key tools uh, inside the um, Bittrex desktop application. The communication side of things is really important. The drive synchronization, again, is really important. And also, your notification center will be directly accessible via the uh, desktop application as well. So we can see our notifications pop up on the little uh, toolbar that you've got on your Mac or on your Windows machine. It will have a little red one uh, or a two or a three, depending on how many notifications you have in red. So again, you don't have to be in the system to receive uh, on a web browser to receive those notifications, allowing you to use the web browser purposely for your uh, searching and your research uh, on the different web pages inside the web browser itself. So if we just have a summary of the key features and the key benefits of the desktop application, so you can see that we can receive notifications via the desktop application there's no need for to have multiple web browser tabs open. So it might be that you have different web browser tabs open for a whole range of different things. You don't need that on the desktop application. You can have multiple sessions open up on the desktop application so you can connect to multiple systems. You can separate Bittrex from your day-to-day -day working in the web browser. You can obviously have your document synchronization uh, inside the uh, Bittrex 24 system via the desktop application. And you can have more stable conferencing features and you can have up to 48 participants inside a HD web conference as well. So as you can see, hopefully you can see the key benefits of downloading the desktop application. Do give it a try. It's available on all versions of Bittrex 24. So you can just go to bitch24.com slash applications.php, download, download the application for your Mac or your Windows machine, log in, and you can start reaping the benefits of the desktop application straight away. So thank you very much for watching. Please get in touch for maybe a full demonstration of the Bitch24 system and the uh, desktop application itself. Or to find out more about this, uh, and other solutions, go to interface.com slash solutions. Thank you very much for your time today and bye for now.